One of the main limitations of the original Ferro Slickster is that it does not have the provisions for attaching any kind of back panel. The main reason to run a back panel, in my opinion, is to have hydration directly on the plate carrier. If you've been following some of my videos about the Ferro Slickster, you know that I've continued to invest money into it instead of replacing it with a more expandable carrier. At this point, I think inertia is all that's keeping me going. I've put enough money into this thing that I could definitely have bought something else by now, I just kind of find it interesting. So the original Ferro Slickster only has Velcro on the rear. There really is no way to attach a panel directly. The Molly version of the Slickster can run Molly panels directly, or you can use Molly to attach Ferro zipper adapters to use their own in-house back panels. So when it comes to attaching a back panel to the original version of the Ferro Slickster, we have to do something with mostly Velcro. LBX makes a few back panels for their carrier that attach using just a very large rectangular field of Velcro and two small buckles at the top. I ordered one of their bungee back panels, which has an integrated hydration pouch, a small miscellaneous admin pouch, and a bungee section at the rear for holding either a helmet or some kind of jacket. Putting any kind of weight in the panel is not really a good idea unless we have some additional way to hold the back panel on other than just Velcro. So we need to add two attachment points of some kind to the Slickster. Ideally, we can do all of this without having to do any of our own sewing. Option A is to use reduction loops. You can run the shoulder straps of the Slickster through the 2-inch loop, and then you can run your own webbing through the 1-inch loop to attach to the back panel. I figured this might not sit particularly well once fully loaded, so I went with a different method. Option B is to run webbing through the shoulder straps and to the laser-cut G-hook attachment points at the front of the carrier. I ordered a bunch of loose DIY hardware. G-hooks, Duraflex, slick clips, tri-glides, and 1-inch webbing. Most of this stuff I got from Millspec Monkey, which has a shitload of DIY supplies if you want to try something like this for yourself. The first step was to get rid of the tiny plastic buckles the LBX panel comes with. I just used side cutters for that. I prototyped this out at first using four G-hooks. The webbing loops through the G-hook and then is retained by a tri-glide on both sides. Both straps have G-hooks on each end, running from the LBX panel to the laser-cut loops on the front of the carrier. This wasn't secure enough on the back end. The LBX panel could jump out of the G-hook while moving. We don't actually need both sides of the strap to be removable anyway, so I replaced the G-hooks on the rear with the slick clips. These are the tan Siamese-style clips sold by Condor. Realistically, we don't need both sides to be open since the webbing on the strap can be run through a solid loop. I cannot find the Coyote Tan closed loop style slick clips in stock anywhere, so I went with the Condor ones for now. I'm actually not sure they even exist. I may settle for black ones and redo this eventually. Another way we could have accomplished this is to use ITW Nexus split ladder locks. It would be pretty easy to get the loops on the LBX panel around the split part of the ladder lock and then run the strap webbing through the other side. However, it would still be possible for this to come unhooked during movement because I don't think the loops on the LBX panel are technically an inch wide. So how does it work? The arrangement and attachment of the back panel works pretty well. The actual back panel itself doesn't work very well at all. LBX isn't the most high-speed gear company. It's pretty much the airsoft arm of London Bridge Trading. The LBX bungee panel claims it can fit up to a 2-liter hydration pack. I can't even get it to fit a 1-liter source bladder in the actual hydration part of the carrier. The pouch is so thin and the sides have no gussets, so when you cram even a tiny 1 liter bladder in there, it pulls the Velcro off the back of the carrier and the top flap of the hydration pouch can't even close. So I put it in the zippered rear admin pouch instead. I tried using a Source branded and a Platypus branded 2 liter bladder in the back and it wouldn't even fit in the zippered pouch. LBX also sells a banger back panel, which is more of an assault style panel. This one has a small admin pouch, 4 grenade pouches, and a hydration pouch. The hydration pouch seems like it's way better designed on this panel, so if I'm feeling like sinking even more money into the sunk cost fallacy made manifest that Ferro Concepts calls the Slickster, I might get one of those. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.